Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a how to start a YouTube channel video. Now, I'm probably not the best person to make this, but then again, I'm just here to share with you guys what I have and know. So I hope you guys find some part of this helpful and eventually start a YouTube channel. Just a side note, this video is sponsored by Filmora Wondershare. I will talk more about them later on in the video. To do so, it's pretty simple. First, type in gmail.com in the search bar. Second, wait until this page shows up and choose the option, create an account for myself. Then proceed to fill out all the necessary information that Google asks you, like I'm doing here. Now, all you have to do is click next and your account is made. Okay, now all jokes aside, let's get started with the actual portion of the video where I discuss topics of equipment, software, style, motivation, and subscribers. First, I'm going to start off by talking about the more standard stuff such as editing softwares and camera. In the two years I've been making YouTube videos, I've actually only used two softwares. The first one is iMovie, which is the one I've been using this whole time just because it came with my MacBook. And the other one is Filmora, which I recently started experimenting with. And obviously there are tons of apps you can look into, such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, which I've never used, and from what I remember, the prices for each of those are quite high. If you're a Mac owner and you're looking into starting a YouTube channel, I think iMovie is definitely a really good starting point. First of all, the app is free itself, and it has most of the basic necessities you need, such as a good range of sound effects, transitions, titles, and color correction. But speaking from experience, some aspects I just wish it was a little bit better. For example, iMovie isn't capable of putting multiple layers at the same clip at the same time. And overall, I just really wished it was a little bit more aesthetic in terms of the font and the different transitions. On that note, I wanted to share a little bit about this new app I've been experimenting with. One thing I was very happy to find was the number of things they already had downloaded in their library. And this goes for audio, titles, transitions, effects, and other overlays. And the one aspect that definitely intrigues me the most is the ability to add subtitles so quickly that I was not able to do in iMovie. Moving on with Filmora, you can actually add multiple layers at the same time for both audio and clips. Since using Filmora, I've been able to try out different effects and be more control of my clips, so I've just been trying to edit a vlog with that. So one last thing, if you're interested in downloading Filmora to try it out, you can always check out the link in the description box below. They have different pricings which range from free to paid depending on how many effects you want, so you can always download it and try it out for free. And if all of that doesn't satisfy your needs, you can always look into Filmora Pro for more advanced functions or as an alternative. Equipment-wise, I haven't actually spent a ton of money on this. Only recently did I actually invest in a higher quality camera, which is the Canon G7X Mark. Although I would absolutely agree that having a good camera produces or higher quality content, I just think that it's not exactly necessary at the beginning of one's YouTube channel. Moving on about style and motivation, I get this one asked quite a bit as well, and by style I am referring to originality, coming up with unique editing styles or video ideas that suit your theme and general topic. In terms of style for editing, I think that takes time and experience. As you edit more videos, you realize what works and doesn't work for you, which naturally would form your style of editing. For video ideas, specifically in the StudyGram StudyTube community, there are only a limited amount of topics we can discuss or make videos about. Therefore, I just take whatever generic or common video idea and just try to put my twist on it. And for motivation, I think it's something you should have prior to starting your channel and not something you want to gain from views and subscribers. If you truly love what you're doing, motivation shouldn't be a big issue, but after all, YouTube isn't for everyone, so just go with the flow and make decisions for yourself. Last but not least, subscribers and views. It's natural, we all want to be recognized for our hard work, but what you give doesn't always equate to what you receive. There will be times where you gain a lot of subscribers, and others, it's not really much change. The only time and your content can determine that, and my best tip is just to keep moving forward, and one day, I'm sure you'll receive the recognition you deserve. 
that's about it for everything I can offer at this stage. Just remember to be patient and keep working toward your goals. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in trying out Filmora, then the download links will be in the description below. But other than that, if you ever start a YouTube channel, definitely send me a message on Instagram and I'd love to support you on your journey. Once again, all my social medias will be linked in the description and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!